Hello viewers and welcome to all new people to this channel. In today's lesson we'll be talking about ratio and how to write ratio in simplest form. Ratio allows you to compare one thing to another and to simplify ratio the easiest way is to divide each of the numbers in the ratio by their highest common factor. Highest common factor simply means the biggest number that could go into given numbers. So for example, I have 8 blue beads and 12 yellow beads. If I need to write the ratio of blue to yellow, I could express that in the form of ratio. And in ratio, order is very important. If blue is mentioned first, you need to stick to blue first before yellow. Swapping the order changes the whole ratio. So the ratio of blue to yellow, I count the number of blues. So I have 8 blues and 12 yellow. Now we use semicolon to represent the ratio, and the colon to represent the ratio. We read this as 8 is to 12. 8 is to 12. And to simplify, we need to divide 8 and 12 by their highest common factor. So highest common factor here means what is the biggest number to divide 8 and 12. If you can't find the biggest number, you can do the division in bits. But if you can work out the highest common factor, it's easier and faster. So you can see 4 is the biggest number to divide 8 and 12. So you divide each number by 4. So we have 2 for blue and we have 3 for yellow. So you see 2 is to 3. So 2 is to 3 is the simplified form of 8 is to 12. 2 is to 3 is the simplified form of 8 to 12. What that means is that you can rearrange the beads in the form that for every two blue beads there are three yellow beads as you can see. The same beads have been rearranged in the format of the simplified form of the ratio. Let's look at another example. There are 42 people at the cinema. 20 of them are males and the rest are females. Express the ratio females to males in the simplest form. And if you look at the question carefully, you realize that we were not given the number of females, but only males in the total number. So the first thing is to work out how many females are there. And of course, we do that by taking away the number of males from the total. So that gives us 22 females. And also the order says females before males. So in doing the ratio, we're going to have 22 to 20. Highest common factor of 22 and 20 is 2. 2 is the biggest number to divide 22 and 2. So when you divide each by 2, you're going to be left with 11 is to 10. So 11 is to 10 is the simplified form of 22 is to 20. So that also means that 11 is to 10 means for every 11 females, there are 10 males. That's what it means. Now, let's look at where we have ratio and the units in the ratio and adding the numbers in the ratio and then the same units. What happens to that simplification? So that's where we talk about simplifying ratio of different units. Now, one thing I want you to remember is that before you simplify, you need to change the bigger unit into a smaller unit. That's one advice I would like to give you. It's easier to change the bigger into smaller unit to avoid decimals. So, for example, we need to simplify 30 millimeters to 2 centimeters. And you realize that 30 and 2, they are numbers, but in terms of units, millimeter is different from centimeter. So we need to change that. Now when I say bigger unit, I'm talking about the unit, not the number. Centimeter is bigger than millimeter. So that's what I mean by change the bigger. Don't look at the number in front because the number will, will confuse you. You might think that it's bigger. No, it's a unit. So here, 
you need to recall your conversion 10 millimeters make one centimeter so because centimeter is bigger than millimeter you need to change two centimeter into millimeter by multiplying it by 10. the reason why i want you to always change the bigger unit is to avoid going into decimals it's not best to have decimals in ratios so 30 will still become 30 but 2 cm in terms of millimeter will now become 2 times 10 20. now once you convert them to the same unit there is no need to have units because they are more or less the same in the same context so there's no need for the uh, units now you go by the same rule highest common factor of 30 and 20 that is 10. so when you simplify you're going to have 3 is to 2 and mind you here 3 is to 2 is the simplified form of 30 millimeters to 2 centimeters and you don't need to put down any unit for this one because as you put it it still means the same thing for the original one so 3 is to 2 is the same as 30 millimeters is to 2 centimeters let's look at another version of simplifying ratio of different units This time we have two hours to 40 minutes. Now, in this case, you check hours and minutes, which one is bigger? Hours. So we need to change hours into minutes. What is your conversion? 60 minutes equals one hour. So for you to be able to simplify ratio in different units, you must first learn your conversion. Learn them by heart. So we're going to change uh, two hours into minutes because an hour is bigger than a minute or longer than a minute so we div we multiply two hours by 60 so two hours now become becomes 120 two hours uh, become 120 and 40 minutes is still 40 minutes once you convert them into the same minutes you don't need to put down the units highest common factor will give you 40 divide both sides by 40 So 120 is to 40 is the same as 3 is to 1. So we can now say that 3 is to 1 is a simplified form of 2 hours to 40 minutes. And as usual, you don't need to put down any unit. Okay. Now lastly, I'm going to show you where we have simplifying across a different ratio. You're comparing different ratio and you have to simplify them across. So, this is called simplifying ratio by comparison. In a bag, there are blue, green, and yellow counters, so three colors, blue, green, and yellow counters. The ratio of blue counters to green counters is two to five. Ratio of green counters to yellow counters is three to four. Write down the ratio of blue to yellow counters in the bag in simplest form. I suggest pause this video and read this question yourself. Make sure you've understood the content. If you look carefully, we have two divisions. We have blue to green as one side, then we have green to yellow as one side. So let's write our ratio in that format. So this is the first section, and this is the second section. First, blue to green, we have 2 to 5, then green to yellow, 3 to 4. We are supposed to write the ratio of green to yellow, green to yellow. Uh, so, uh, ratio of uh, blue to yellow sorry so blue to yellow now you need to remember that the same green here which is five has now become three so it depends on what you compare green with the number changes but the number of green will still be the same the number of green will still be the same so what you need to do is check them carefully this green must be the same number so the easiest way is that try to get the highest the lowest common multiple lowest common multiple think of going up in trace think of going up in fives and see what is the number that will be in both sections that's what you call the lowest common multiple so if you go in trace three six nine and so on five ten fifteen and so on you will see that the lowest common multiple will be fifteen so lcm 
is 15 which means that the green uh, count is the smallest possible number is 15 so we need to make this 15 so to make this 15 you time this by 3 and to make this 15 you time this by 5 so we made this 15 let's make this one also 15 so now we know the section this section here everything is times by 3 this section here everything is times by 5 so let's go on and times it 2 by 3 so we know the blue smallest possible number is 6 let's do the yellow side 5 times 4 so we have 20 for the smallest uh, number for yellow so now we know that blue green yellow is 6 15 20 blue green yellow is 6 15 20 the question says only blue and yellow so take 6 and 20 now simplify that divide by 2 because that is the highest common factor so we have 3 is 2 10 3 to 10 so this is what we call simplifying by comparison comparing across uh, different ratio now I'm just gonna give you a little bit of test by asking you some questions pause each slide and see if you can get the answer right just to see whether you've understood what you've just watched what will be the answer hope you got it right pause it and check next next different units so we can take your time and work this out convert them into the same unit change cm into millimeters what did you get hope you got it right another different units change weeks into days what did you get okay then the final question take your time you need to compare so this the last example that we did use LCM to find the command and see what you will get let's check if you got them well done so that brings us to the end of this lesson new uh, viewers subscribe to this channel hit on the notification button so you'll be alerted of any video that we post share with your friends look forward to lesson two on ratio sharing according to given ratio thank you very much for watching